is up. I thought I would start making a video. Why and what? Well, got the master cylinder came in um, for Big Red right over here. Uh, but we do have some concerns. Number one, where the line goes and the banjo bolt and everything. On the original, what was that? It's poking right here out at the end. If I line this up, it is going out. Let's see if you can see it like that. It's going out the side. So I'm hoping that, that that's not going to be an issue, uh, but we'll see. Uh, things that you're going to need for this, I believe, is a 10 millimeter wrench. Uh, probably a 12 millimeter wrench as well to get that banjo bolt off. Um, and yeah, that should be about it. I don't know. Let's just dig into it and see what's going on, okay? Okay, so like I said before, 10 millimeter and a 12 millimeter is basically all you're going to need. You're going to need the 10 millimeter to take the uh, mounts loose. You're going to need the 12 millimeter to take the banjo bolt off. Uh, so let's go ahead and try to break her loose and see what we can do here. Come off. Oh, like that. oh yeah. Okay, so we got this bolt. I'm not going to take it all the way off, but I'm going to take it loose, okay? Uh, just because I don't want any surprises. So uh, this is actually an 11, and I think I need a 10. Let me check. Yeah, 11 is too big. I need a 10. So let me grab a 10 real quick. Okay, so now I have a 10. And I'm going to take the mount bolts loose. I sprayed them with PB Blaster already. So they're actually coming off pretty decently. All considered. I'm just, as you can see, or as you will see, this mirror is also integrated into the brake um, as well. There is also a brake. Uh, Kind of like a thing for the wire right here, but it's long been broke off since before I got it. So I'm just going to have to do what I can do with it. I don't even know if this master cylinder is going to work or not. Now on eBay, or did I buy it off eBay? Yeah, on eBay they claimed that it was for... A wide variety, including this model. Uh, and maybe that banjo bolt being off the side instead of the front doesn't matter. That I do not know. Okay, so. We have that off now. I'm just going to let it hang for right now. Now that the old one is off, we're going to go ahead and try to put this new one on. And we're going to see if we can make it work or not. Um, kind of a 50-50 chance. don't like the fact that... This is here instead of sticking out the end like we would want it to be, but we're going to try and we're going to see what happens, okay? I'm sorry that this cuts my head off, but it either cuts my head off or you don't get to see what I'm doing. And I'm sure it's more important for you to be able to see uh, what I'm doing rather than... Ooh, and these are smaller. These are not 10 millimeter like on the other one. These replacement ones are 9 millimeter. So we'll loosen them up here. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully, hopefully it's going to work okay. I don't know. Uh, my big worry is that that line's not going to be long enough or that it's going to be a different diameter. And that's going to spell trouble for trying to get all of this to work. But I could be wrong. Maybe they're interchangeable. That's what I'm hoping. Sometimes all you can do is try, right? All you can do is try sometimes, and that's what we're going to do. Okay, so this goes on to here. This goes on to here. Try not to drop any bolts. It's the time when I should have threw my old man glasses down, but I didn't. Trying to go by feel. Okay. So I'm going to look and I'm going to gauge it. So the way that it's looking, 
it's going to pretty much be right there in order for it to have enough of the handle sticking close enough to the end of the handlebars so that you can actually grip onto it. You know what? I'll actually, I'm thinking about just button it up like that. Once again, that might be a good thing and it might be a bad thing because that line, I sure am not liking the way this line is going to be protruding out from the outside. That worries me, but we'll see. We'll see what happens, right? That's all we can do. Okay. Okay, so now here's where the uh, new one is. And if you notice, the old one goes out the back. We have the new master cylinder in place. I was able to put the line on with the old banjo boat. I didn't use the um, I didn't use the new washers that were on the banjo boat. Let me show you those. So. These were the new washers that were on the banjo bolt, the new banjo bolt, but look how thick those are. And neither one of these is a crush washer. Um, I'm used to crush washers being really thin so that they can crush, right? So the old one did have a crush washer on it. So I just used the old banjo bolt, the old crush washer, and I kind of kicked the, uh, I kind of kicked the line at like a 40 or 45 degree angle instead of it being straight down. It's not exactly how it should be like it was on the old one. Because remember the old one, the banjo bolt goes straight into here. Instead, this one's cocked out of the side. Uh, but it does work. It, there's a little bit of play in it still, which is good. And now I have been slowly but surely pumping it up and uh waiting until i get some pressure on it and then opening up the bleeders that are on the calipers while i have the handle pressed so no air will come in and it is working at least it feels like it is i'm gonna go ahead and crack this one last time now it doesn't come spinning out and I think that one of the reasons why is I think these bleeders are just, they're just crap now, you know, they're kind of corroded and stuff like that. So what I'm doing is I'm really unscrewing them a lot so that the air can come out around the threads just in case the bleeders are bad. Uh, I might consider getting some more bleeders, but I can see little dribbles coming out, which is a good thing. Um, it might just be something that I'll have to play with over the course of the next couple weeks or so. Uh, or like I said, I might try to get new bleeders and just try to put new bleeders in. But as it sits right now, um... I would say that we're doing pretty good. Now granted, it's not really, really stiff, uh, but it is reasonably stiff. Um, I have not checked. Let's let's check and see if this bike even rolls, shall we? Let's go by the front tire there. There we go. So uh, it's looking like it's rolling. The front tire's rolling, right? Yep. Now I'm going to roll it and I'm going to depress the brake. Oh yeah. See that? I think it's working, ladies and gentlemen. Might not be the stiffest, uh, but for right now, it is pretty darn good. So there you have it, guys. We were able to use an eBay master cylinder. It was able to work, it, even though it had a slightly different setup. So just know, if you do buy those ones, I'm guessing they're repops because they don't say Yamaha on them, so they're unbranded. Um, just know that if you do use those, they will work, but the banjo bolt goes into the side instead of into the front. But luckily, I was able to um, 
put it in there and it seems to be working fine. A whole lot of pumping, I'm not gonna lie. I probably, I probably pumped the uh, brake handle probably about a good three to 400 times. And that is no exaggeration. So, uh, and I do have brakes. I'm gonna mess with it a little bit more later, but I am confident that with this, at least having the brakes that it has, that it is much safer to drive than not having any. Uh, one thing that I will have to do yet is I'm going to have to hook up the electrical connection for the brake line. We may uh, do that for a separate video because I'm going to have to look and I'm going to have to see exactly how this hooks up because guess what? It doesn't look like the old one. It is different. Uh, the terminals are different. So I think I'm going to have to um, either crimp on some connectors or maybe do a little bit of soldering. We'll see. But hey, at least we got through this. I told you uh, that she, uh, Big Red might have won the battle, but not the war, right? The war uh, goes to here. Uh, we are the victors. So with that being said, if you liked what you saw, please, 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 you know the drill. Click the like button. Click the subscribe button. Please feel free to share my videos. If you're on any sort of vintage Japanese motorcycle, uh, Facebook uh, groups or anything like that, or forums on the internet, uh, drop my stuff down there. I'd appreciate it. Uh, maybe some of those people who you are talking to or who frequent those groups or those forums would enjoy to be able to see my content. If you would like to see some content that hasn't been posted, or if you're having a specific problem and you'd like me to delve into it with one of these bikes, please leave a message down in those comments. Let me know. I will do my best to get to it. I still have a lot of stuff to do on Big Red, but we're getting one step closer. The battery did come, so I need to put the battery in, and I am getting ever so closer to getting to that point where I'm going to have to order some exhaust tips. But for right now, guys, I think we did a great job today. If you have any questions, please feel free to either hit me up on my Facebook, hit, hit up the Discord too. Drop in and say hi, or at least in the comments, drop in and say hi. I would appreciate it. And you guys have a great end of your week. I will too. And click that notification bell so that you'll know when my next video is out because it's probably going to be out pretty soon, okay? All right, bye guys.